Welcome to Las Cruces, New Mexico and the Las Cruces KOA Campground. Join me today for the campground review and tour of this park. If you are new to the channel, we invite you to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell for future videos. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And everyone, please hit that like button to help this video get seen on YouTube. If you are looking for a great campground with some amazing views, then you're going to love this place. Y'all coming along with me and let's see what you think about it. This park is located just a few miles off of I-10 and you have very easy access on and off the interstate. There is tons to do in see here from this park with El Paso, Texas and White Sands National Park less than an hour drive away just to name a few of the places. We found this place to be very clean and nice for the few days that we stayed here. The park has a total of 86 RV only sites and 12 tent only sites. There are 33 pull through sites and the others are back in or pull in sites depending on what you select when you book. 69 are full hookups and 48 of those have 50 amp power. You can make the selection that fits your needs when you book online. The staff at this park is amazing with excellent customer service. The cost was around $45 per night with our KOA discount card. Now let's get on to the park tour. So when you arrive you're going to come off the main road into the park either left or right. You'll turn where you see the KOA sign campground right there at the road and you're going to come onto this. You're going to turn left where you see the KOA journey sign and just follow this all the way up and park directly in front of the office that you see there on top of the hill and you will go in there and get your packet your information and they'll tell you what site to go to and that is where you get into the park and you get registered okay so the once you come up and you're going to sign in you go in through these doors here at the front office and if you're doing a late arrival you can actually pick up your information right there and you can see they've got a list here of the people coming in you just go through the door and there will be somebody behind the desk here you will check in there but as you can see they've also got a cool little store in here and just in a little bit I've worked with the people here like I said in the opening the customer service is absolutely great I love it they seem like really good people here to work with if you chose a cabin during your stay the cabins are just up from the entrance and immediately to the right they have three of them here they do look very nice so this park does have a dog park. It is a pretty good size. As you can see, it is made up of mostly dirt and sand, but you're in New Mexico, so that's what it's gonna be. They do have dog way stations here and scattered throughout the whole park, but overall, this is a very nice park and our puppies loved it. So here is the laundry. So when you come into the laundry, you do have to enter a key pass. This is a 24 hour laundry, so you can use it at any time, day or night. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter this. So after you enter your coach, you come in, See they got several washers. They got four down the road here. And then they got some dryers over here. We did use these this morning. They work very well. And here are the prices. So you can see them both. And I think that is very reasonably priced. So again, very cool laundry mat here. So here is the half basketball court that they have. Fairly nice, it's right over by the dumpster, but you can push the little door thing out of your way and you got plenty of room to play and just have a good time with that. So here is the playground that they have for the kids. As you can see, there's no pets in this area and it's open from 7 a.m. to dusk. But not a bad little playground, got some swings, a slide, just some different stuff to do here. So another nice little feature of the park. And here is one of the shower house bath houses. As you can see, very well cleaned. They're actually in here cleaning now, so they do a very good job of that. You got your tools, your sinks, and of course you got your showers here with the glass doors, which is a really nice feature. And you got your own door that you can lock, so that adds a nice safety feature to it. So again, very clean, nicely kept up restroom area. They just do a really good job with it here. Here are some of the tent areas that you can rent. As you can see, they are very nice, very well maintained. All of them got picnic tables and fire pits. And it's just a really impressive setup. And they do have another tent area too that has power and water if needed. Actually, this one here has it as well. So last but not least, here is our site. As you can see, we got plenty of room here. We do have a pull-in site. And I will show you why here in just a second. But as we come around to the side over here, you can see our full hookups with the power, the water, and the sewer. Very level, easy to get into site. I'll bring you back around. And this is the view from the front of our rig. So as you can see, plenty of room. I got Scarlet saying hello up in the front window. 
But the biggest thing about this site is this right here. So this is the view from the front of our RV, which is actually a very amazing view. We have loved looking out the front window and seeing this right here. And while I'm showing you this view, the last thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is the park Wi-Fi and the cell coverage here. So the park Wi-Fi, they do have free internet. That gets 15 meg down. It gets five meg up. The AT&T here gets about 10 meg down and two meg up. And Verizon here is getting about 35 meg down and 20 meg up. So Verizon is definitely the winner here. Thank you all so much for watching this video today. I hope you've enjoyed this campground tour. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the video and this campground. And I appreciate y'all for watching. Thanks. Bye y'all.